Good morning guys, it's Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling. Welcome back to my channel. Today, um, well, I'm going to do the first flip through of two un um, projects that have been lying around unfinished for ages, uh, but finally have been finished. So the first one I'm going to be looking at is this one here, um, Vintage Magnolia. And then in my next video, I will showcase uh, Vintage Sunflower. Okay, so let's start with Vintage Magnolia, which is a, a repurposed uh, book cover. Uh, it measures 21 centimetres high and it is 14.5 centimetres wide. The spine is about three centimetres and it has a beautiful magnolia collaged on the front and back, as you can see, and it has an eyelet at the back. Um, it's um, the closure is this beautiful um, brown ribbon. It's not silk. I don't think it's silk. It's just something I found at a charity shop on a lovely roll. But it's got a lovely texture to it. I don't know if you can see that, it has um, a seven-strand uh, beaded dangle, and there are vintage glass beads as part of the dangle. If you can see that and they're uh, parts of a vintage necklace and um, another one that I think is probably uh, repurposed but I don't know how old it is if it's vintage this little heart here was uh, repurposed I've picked it up from an older necklace these little bits down here are uh, from an older necklace as is this um, and this little bird cagey thing is just something quite new from the works but I've popped a little um, bead dangle on the bottom as well so I thought that looks quite nice and I've positioned it in a, such a way that when you're not when you're trying to journal in the book it flips right up it flips right up and the book can lie flat okay it has fabric tabs um, throughout and some of the little mini balls or clips as well just to hold bits and pieces um, in place so let's dive straight uh, straight in hope you enjoy this um, yes there's upholstery fabric on the spine as well and finally, um, this is going to be loved by somebody, but it's such a beautiful, beautiful um, image on the front. And it's, it's varnished or um, popped it on with this decoupage medium. It's acrylic. And so it's really given it a, a really nice sealed finish. So the picture, um, the image, I think uh, from here, I, I carried on and popped it on the inside cover because I just think it looks beautiful. It's lovely. And I've just popped little like little patchwork pieces, really, of upholstery fabric on the inside. Um, down below, you will find the uh, video that um, showcase, uh, yeah, where I did the share of when I was experimenting with vintage music paper and stamps and, um, yeah, with stamping and napkins as well which is like the cover of the uh, Vintage Sunflower. So that was in the same video when we did this just onto some, um, oh, what's the word, a scrapbook paper and stamped. So that's from that project then. So that's the cover with the um, uh, napkin. And these covers for the signatures I've just popped in are just the, um, the stamping onto the uh, music paper. Okay, so those are the, the um, covers of the signatures. They're beautiful, and I've reinforced them a little bit too. But on the front of this first one, I thought I would um, apply this beautiful um, cutout of the lily. It's like um, of the same era, I think, of the pictures of, of the magnolia. And I've used um, a printout from Minnick the Booksmith, I think it's called Wardian Ferns and it's got these a sheet of four Edwardian fern cases so I've tried to do something different with each one so and I think I've got a spare as well so the first one I've used um so a large postcard size and I've just done a floating tag with that one so uh, this is from Tracy Fox Love Junk Journals I think these are from her tea cards as well um so and I've just popped inside just a couple of bits for writing and uh, a little, a little, what's it from my um, vintage, what's the word? Ephemera box from Our Atelier. And as you can see, it's been collaged on the back there onto music paper. 
these little bits are for my um, ephemera boxes too. You'll see bits that I've been hoarding used throughout. Scrapbook paper with a little label. This is the second um, Wardian bookcase thingy that I've used and I've just put it onto some music paper and a bit of um, tea dyed paper and done it a little flip so you can journal but I think it looks really nice on the cover there. Let me just try and adjust this a little bit. Uh, yes, um, on the top of the ephemera boxes you get this beautiful uh, thick paper and the stamps that are enclosed are featured on the front and I've decided to cut them up and pop them into this journal and into the sunflower one as well. They look beautiful, just in a little um, little cluster with some linen. Uh, well, that speaks for itself, beautiful image there. This is from my um, ephemera box from a few months ago. Gorgeous botanical washi. A stamp, uh, this is a stamp, um, a stamp collector's album thing from the 60s. It's beautiful, it's blank, so it's not been used, but I thought it looked lovely in here. Um, so I've been hoarding that as well, so. It's reinforced with washi on the spine because it is quite delicate, this paper, it's quite old. Just a little bit of writing paper with a stamp, greetings card with um, the William Morris um, calendar that I've been, uh, have been using, and a little image here, I don't know if you can see that, from one of the art books that I've been hoarding as well. I think I got one from a, for a pound from a local shop that's falling to bits and I've been meaning to use bits from it and I'm going to be. So again, a bit of washi, botanical washi. Just a stamp from my uh, ephemera box and a little image from the art book. And I've just put it onto some um, envelope got these green envelopes, loads of them, and I decided to cut that up and make a little background for that. This has been in my stash, these fabrics, and I've decided to, um, these are little, little fabric, um, uh, uh, fabric samples, and they have little edging uh, onto card on the back, which are ideal for securing these tabs, so they all the way through. A bit more of that music paper with the stamping. Some silk. Uh, upholstery silk that I have in my stash. I've been using, going through them slowly. I decided to make a pocket and a feature page with that. And I've just got a little paint chip project there that I tried my hand at in the summer. Um, well, lady on Facebook um, had a challenge. She does fabulous collages and you all know her, but I've forgotten her name. Um, and I just quite hand at that but this I love I love the way this turned out again just from the art book if you can see how beautiful that looks just dotted around washy from a book on garden benches that makes you chuckle but it has some lovely images in and uh, that's been in my stash for ages tea dyed paper this beautiful image is from the book that I have called Scented Garden, the Scented Garden I think, and I've got two copies, one that I can use to share and one that I can just admire. Um, and this is a lovely old uh, image from that book. I think you can hear the wind. We've still got, is it the end of Storm Chiara we've, we're dealing with here? That's a little, just a little cluster there, just some journaling space. Now this I absolutely adore, and that is from The Scented Garden. It's looking about how people were taking care of gardens and what they used to do, and uh, absolutely love it, love it. Uh, another silk um, silk uh, sample here uh, as, a, as a pocket. I haven't... I haven't glued the side down because I find it easier to tuck things in and out. But if you'd like to, if you know whoever's interested in this, in owning it, you could glue it down if you wanted. But I've just done a tiny bit. I love the colours on this paint sample. These were some stamps that I picked up from um, Rosie at Our Atelier. And I've tried to put, I bought four, I think, or five. And I've put at least four in this one. And I've just popped it on some cardstock. This was just the spare of the fern cards that I printed out. I think I've had that one for a while. 
from Nick Booksmith. And um, so those tuck in there like so. Let's pop that back just to keep it in place. And on the other side is the center. And that is basically from a coloring book that I have on um, vintage uh, plants and um, flowers. So you've got, uh, I've just popped some of the little, um, now that's the sunflower napkin and I've just popped it on the card on here. You've got in here, these little tags, they're beautiful. If you can see the bird image. And these are all from my ephemera boxes that I've been hoarding over the months and not used. And I just thought, you know what, let's use them. Let's just pop them in. I think they look beautiful there. Okay, that's the first. Little bit of layering on, just on the text there, just so, you know, it's fun to journal on. Tracing paper, little cluster. Um, it's from the same diary, I think. It's a stamp collector's book. In frame. I'm sorry about the light. I'm trying to get decent light at the moment on a winter's day is really hard especially if I'm out and about during the day and not back until the evening art book washi my book on butterflies absolutely love that diary I think it's 2004 this Royal Horticultural Society diary the other piece of that silk which is um uh Painted, printed, printed, painted. Can't remember, but it's um anyway. I haven't popped anything in this pocket. I've just lined it, backed it with that, because it was starting to get really chunky, as you can see. So um, you can pop things in there should you wish to. Got a little tuck just down here, like so. In the fabric tab. This is from, I think it's Artie Mays. I think it's from Artie Mays and I, I popped it in the Sunflower book um, and it's Sunflower embellishments and I've just popped that in. A little bit of um, writing space as well in there. Back of a greetings card. And this one is the another one of the, the prints, for, uh, the stamps from our atelier. Mm. Bit of stamping, other bit of that washi on there. And you can see the beautiful black and white stamp images up on top of the stamp page. Combination here of music paper, uh, collage of this beautiful lily type thing, um, scrapbook paper and Tracy Fox plain label. Washi. End of the first signature, beginning of the second, lined with the um, another piece of that silk. And is this the third thing that I've done with the Wardian Fern Cave? Just made a little, uh, covered it. This is um, a little goodie from my uh, one of my ephemera boxes. I made it into a little booklet. This here, this image, beautiful, love it. That's from the art book. And I've popped that in there. It does add a bit of bulk, really, so I might ship it. I might take it out to ship it so it's not a strain on the, the spine and you can do what you wish with it. Uh, whoever would like to own this little beauty. Okay. Right, just um, a little bit from that experiment day of the um, nasturtium um, napkin onto music paper. I'll just tuck it in there. So you're getting the gist, and again a little bit more of that nasturtium on the napkins, and layered with um, a label and washi, and another piece. Uh, beautiful. I like that little bit, even though it's quite a modern picture from the scented garden, from the vintage uh, ephemera box. Little sticker page, back of the coloring book, which I love the way that looks.
this I've got, I've made it into a pocket. I haven't popped anything in it. Just, um, you could pop whatever you like in it really. But this is uh, the mm, glassine envelope that I decorated. And I have some filled with goodies um, in my Etsy store at the moment. But I thought when I made this, it looks so nice in this book. Let me see. A ball dog clip. A little bit of the William Morris, a little goodie from my one of my ephemera boxes. Another lovely botanical washi reinforcing this lovely book. Collector's book. Okay. Bit of stamping on tea dyed paper. Lovely piece of that um, uh, linen, um, just as a pocket again, and another pot, uh, one of those beautiful stamps. And I've just done a little bit of layering on the back, and it's double double card stock, so it's a really nice weight. I think I just hold it in like that. So my book, world book of flowers. The second centre piece has got this beautiful image again from the scented garden about these lady preparing, ladies preparing rose petals and I've left the right up. I haven't covered it up because it's really interesting. It's really an interesting read so I've left it. You can cover it if you like and just popped some of the, the um, sunflower sunflower napkin on um, scrapbook paper. See the, the write-up still um, on the back there because it's just so interesting. Lots of room for journaling but interest on most pages. Little tab there from the William Morris. This piece of paper is from the vintage collection I, I got from um, a lady from Postal Love from Belgium. And it's part of her vintage surprise pack and it's it's beautiful. I just love this paper and I thought it looked nice in there. Again, a little goodie from the art book. A little botanical image. So there are 102 pages all together in this book and so that's 204 sides. So this is another of the pictures from the um, art book. That's lovely. Music paper from the 1930s, and I've actually again reinforced that with washi. And a bit of washi there, and that's Tim Holtz washi, I think, from my stash. I've been trying to haul, but really shouldn't. Just use it, Jen. Get a get a life. Uh, that's the back of that beautiful silk, and I've just layered it with a piece uh, that stamp on that lovely paper and some more uh, linen. And this is the last, I think. I've just. With this one, all I've done is um, lay it on the back with a label and a little piece from my stash for a little journaling card. Uh, and I've just, and this is what I popped on the back there. Okay, so that's it. That's it, guys. That is Vintage Magnolia. I do hope you like her. And she will be listed um, in my Etsy store and I will pop the link below. I'll also pop the link below for the, um, the video where we actually did this, where we made these. Um, we worked through the music paper. I'll link that video below as well. And so my next one, the next share will be Vintage Sunflower. So take care guys, thank you for joining me. If you're new and you like what you see, please press like and subscribe. Take care, bye-bye, bye. -bye. bye.